Hi, boys and girls. It's Mary Lou. I'm really excited because this Sunday, the last Sunday in November, is the first Sunday of Advent. And Advent is a really special time to prepare for Christmas. It's about preparing our hearts. I know we're doing lots of preparation around our homes. Some of us are putting up trees and some are putting lights on the house and some of us are making lists of the recipes for the cookies we're going to bake or um, going shopping or making get gifts for people that we love, for our family members and friends. But this is a different kind of preparation. It is a preparation of the heart. And this first Sunday, we're focusing on hope. And hope isn't like being wishful. Hope is something deeper. It's a feeling of reass reassurance that good is coming, that things are going to get better, that something wonderful is coming. And in the Christmas story, angels played a really important part in sharing that hopefulness. They came and talked, one of the angels came and talked to Mary. That was kind of the beginning of the story to tell her she was gonna have a very special baby. And then later, after baby Jesus was born, angels visited the shepherds to tell them the exciting news that there, this wonderful, amazing baby was born and they should go and see that baby. So I wanted to share some pictures of angels with you. This is a really beautiful picture. Um, there's lots of different interpretations of what angels look like that artists can make using their imagination, but I thought this was a really pretty one. And then this is a picture I found of what an artist thought it might look like when the uh, angel Gabriel visited Mary to tell her that she was gonna be the mother of a very special baby. You can see there's all this light coming from him and that, that's how the Bible describes angels. They're, they're beings of light. And angels represent good news from God. They're messengers from God. And so Gabriel had a really important and good news to share with Mary. And then the shepherds were out watching their flocks and they were visited by a whole sky full of angels. And this is what an artist thought it might have looked like. Can you imagine being out there where it was dark and quiet and all of a sudden the sky is filled with light and music and voices telling them to go into Bethlehem to see this new baby that was very special. So this Sunday we're gonna light a candle. Each Sunday we'll light a candle for one of the parts of Advent one of the things that we can do to prepare our hearts for the birth of the love and the light of Jesus and all the t things that he taught us, the way he lived his life and demonstrated his life. And this first Sunday, we're going to light a candle for hope. And so hope means just knowing something good is coming. It's a deep, deep feeling in our hearts that good is coming, things are gonna be better. And so at this time of the year, we can be hopeful and we can open our hearts to being hopeful and expectant and knowing good things are coming. And the good news of the birth of this baby Jesus was very exciting and it has come upon, come up, up, um, has transformed the world. And so next Sunday, we will light another candle and we'll talk about another part of the story about the birth of Jesus. So I'll see you then.